CO magnifier text to speech converter coronavirus. China opens its borders to travelers after three years. This is the first time China has fully opened its borders to travelers since the start of the coronavirus pandemic. Travelers from abroad will no longer have to stay in quarantine. After going to China and Chinese citizens will also be able to travel abroad. However, within 48 hours of travel, they will have to show the PCR test result negative. The Chinese government imposed these restrictions on travel in March 2020 to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. The latest COVID restrictions have been lifted when the country is celebrating the Lunar New Year. On the occasion of the New Year's celebration, a lot of people move inside China. During this time, people go back home to spend time with their families. It is estimated that this year's New Year's holiday can be 2 billion trips, which is double than last year. The decision to lift the ban on travel is seen as a major change in this policy, including the policies adopted by the Chinese government to deal with the COVID epidemic. Family members who were isolated at various places due to the travel ban welcomed the decision. After the relaxation of restrictions, the rate of infection has increased. A lot of patients are admitted to the hospital. Beijing's decision triggered an emotional situation as families were able to reunite at various airports across the country and in the border areas with Hong Kong. It is estimated that up to 400,000 people from Hong Kong could come to China in the next few weeks. A woman told Reuters she hadn't seen her parents for years. One of them is suffering from colon cancer. Now he is and quot. Very, very happy and quot. With the government's decision, Li Hua went to China from the United Kingdom. That's where his family lives. He says he has been able to return to his family and quot. After a long time and quat, and quat, I am very happy to be back. Happy to be able to breathe the Chinese air, and quat. He said, late last year, people started protesting against COVID restrictions. Since then, the government has been relaxing restrictions one after the other. As a result of this rapid change, Coronavirus infections are seen increasing in various cities of China. It is being reported that, after the relaxation of China's zero COVID policy, a lot of patients are being admitted to various hospitals. The government has stopped publishing statistics on how many people are being infected with the coronavirus in China every day. However, it is said that only two people died on Saturday. A lot of people go home to spend time with their families during the Lunar New Year holidays. It is feared that the virus may spread more and more now as people go from urban areas to village homes during the New Year holidays. China is one of the countries in the world that has been following strict restrictions for the last three years to combat the COVID-19 pandemic. Separate lockdowns have been imposed in different cities of China. Mandatory mass testing has been ordered. These restrictions have also had a major impact on the country's economy. This led to agitations demanding the lifting of COVID restrictions in various cities. The Protests intensified after a fire broke out in a multi-story building in the Xinjiang region, killing 10 people. Many in China believe that these 10 people died due to COVID-19 restrictions. But the authorities never accepted the allegations. On the same day the travel ban was lifted. Authorities blocked more than 1,000 accounts on Chinese social media for criticizing the government's handling of the coronavirus.